My name is Abe Brown, and I'm a speaker, an author, and a coach. I work with the Professional Speakers Federation. You can check us out at professionalspeakersfederation.com. Did you know that public speaking is the number one fear in North America? The second greatest fear is death. If you have the fear of public speaking, you are not alone. I want to spend a few moments speaking with you, if I can, about overcoming the fear of public speaking by getting a speaking mentor. Now, a few days before I have to talk in front of a group of people, I get this queasy feeling in my stomach that won't go away. I don't want to eat. I question the content of my talk, and I revise it literally again and again. I just want to cancel so I don't have to deal with the stress. My hands get sweaty before I go on stage, and the butterflies fly like angry birds. I feel like I want to run away. And then I walk out there, do what I have to do, and everything works out just fine. I'm usually even pretty inspired by the time that I'm done. Now what's funny is that by now I've done hundreds and hundreds of these things. I've spoken to groups large and small in several different countries and continents hundreds and hundreds of times. I've shared my keynotes, my messages, my teachings, my training with small groups and with Fortune 500 companies, with mid-sized companies, with organizations, nonprofits, family-run companies, groups of five people, six people to several thousand. By now I feel pretty comfortable with most of it and I'm actually getting better at it but I still wrestle with the queasy feeling I still don't want to eat I still question my content sometimes I still want to cancel and I always have butterflies as someone who'd rather be reading a book at home than running around on stage or writing a speech than running around on stage it took me a long time to figure out how to give a good presentation even though I was nervous now, glossophobia, or speech anxiety, is the fear of public speaking, or speaking in general. Symptoms of glossophobia include intense anxiety prior to giving a speech, or simply at the thought of having to verbally communicate with a group. It's even avoidance of events which focus the group's attendance on individuals uh, in, in particular, and sometimes it's even physical distress, nausea, and panic when you're in front of a group. It's estimated that 70 percent of people wrestle with the fear of public speaking and this is a problem because the truth is that giving great presentations or talks has never been more important for professional success in spite of our digital age and the abundance of email and electronic communication there will always come a time when you need to stand up and share your genius and share your knowledge and your expertise with others. As a person who has spent years and years learning the art of communication to groups, both large and small, it's always puzzling to me why someone would spend years and years learning an area of expertise or professional development, such as a skill or a trade or a craft or a profession or a professional designation, but not have the public speaking skills to get that message out effectively. The truth is that giving a great presentation or talk has never been more important for professional success. There will always come a time when you need to stand up and let your voice be heard. Let your expertise and your knowledge come out. And when you do, you want it to be effective and you want it to be easy. Now, over the years, I've worked with many, many coaches and life coaches, executive coaches, many, many body workers and energy healers and spiritual leaders and consultants and, and even engineers, doctors, lawyers, nurses, and various professional people. They've got all this incredible knowledge and insight about their particular craft, and yet they don't have the skill necessary to get their message out with clarity and expertise. The truth is that giving great presentations or talks has never been more important for professional success. There will always come a time when you need to stand up, let your voice be heard, and let others hear your knowledge and your expertise. When that time comes, you want to be effective, and yet you want it to be easy. You don't want your knowledge and expertise to go to waste because of fear or lack of skill in speaking. Now one of the things that has helped me in my own speaking journey enormously has been to get a speaking mentor. Earlier, I shared some of my own fears and challenges in speaking. And believe me, they were much worse when I did not have a speaking mentor. So I want to speak for just a moment about overcoming the fear of public speaking by getting a speaking mentor. See, a 4x4 relay team runs the mile about two seconds faster than an individual runner. If 
you want speed, you need a team. Your strength in life is always in a network and always in getting a mentor. Obviously, a one-person team is not enough. Now, mentoring, simply put, is learning from those who have done it. It's watching those who are doing it, and it's getting a roadmap from someone who is literally taking the journey before. In mentoring, we learn from those who have done it. As that old saying says, a single conversation across the table with a wise person is worth a month's study of books. Another common definition of a mentor is simply a coach. Now, mentoring has been described as coaching, assisting, training people towards a goal that's teaching and equipping and empowering others. Tell you what, we all need that. Very few people achieve great success without personal mentors. Do you know any successful person who doesn't have a mentor? Mentoring takes us from one level to the next. Mentoring is the bridge from one level to the next. Here's a couple of reasons, actually several reasons why we need mentors. Number one, a mentor can give us praise. We all need encouragement and praise from time to time. Number two, a mentor can give us perspective. Sometimes we think we're, we're doing really bad when we're not. We need a mentor to come along and give us perspective. Number three, a mentor can give us proficiency. I'll tell you what, they help us to avoid the school of hard knocks, which is the most expensive education. A mentor gives us a shortcut. Number four, a mentor gives us patience to hang on until we can get where they are because it's a process and a mentor helps us with that process. Now every current industry superstar apprenticed to an industry giant. Study anyone who's great and you'll find that they apprentice to a mentor or several. Therefore, if you want to achieve skill in the area of public speaking, I encourage you to apprentice to a mentor. Absorb their entire body of information. Learn their sources. Learn their secrets. Meet their contacts. Study everything they've studied. Learn to think like they think to obtain the results that they're obtaining. So I'd like to just kind of close this little video out by giving you six easy steps to obtaining mentors. Number one is desire. You must want a mentor as much as you want your next breath of air. When you do, you'll discover a way. Number two, commit. As the old saying goes, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. Why is this? Because when the student is finally committed, you become aware of all the mentors that exist all around you. Mentors are everywhere. Number three, ask. Ask your prospective mentor. Be clear about what you need. You have not because you ask not. Number four, serve. Every expert takes on a, 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 a kind of an assistant to do the grunt work. Offer to go the extra mile. Anticipate your mentor's needs, their wants, and their desires, and simply serve. Number five is give. Potential mentors will usually be extremely busy pursuing their own goals. A request for mentorship will fall at the bottom of their to-do list. The only way to move to the top is to find out what your mentor wants, attach yourself to one of their priorities, and help them accomplish it. In so doing, your mentor is going to recognize your value, and through the law of reciprocity, your mentor will naturally want to help you achieve your goals. In other words, give first, and then you will receive. The sixth thing in terms of getting a mentor is distance. Get mentoring from a distance. In other words, read the biographies and autobiographies of great speakers that you admire. Go to events where great speakers are speaking. Of course, read articles containing information and interviews about great speakers. Study books and CDs and DVDs, videos, blogs, where they have spoken, audio blogs and podcasts. Warren Buffett said, if you can tell me who your heroes are, I can tell you how you're going to turn out in life. Your heroes and champions, your role models, your inspirations will be how you turn out in life. The truth is that giving great presentations or talks has never been more important for professional success. There will always come a time when you and I need to share with others our knowledge, our wisdom, our voice, our genius. When this time comes, you want it to be effective and yet you want it to be easy. You don't want your knowledge and your expertise to go to waste because of fear or lack of skill. 
in speaking. So I encourage you to consider taking the speech mastery course. You can find out all kinds of information about the speech mastery course at professionalspeakersfederation.com. There's a course outline, there's schedules. We offer it in major cities around North America. Again, professionalspeakersfederation.com. But in terms of getting a speaker, a speaking mentor, we also have a program at the Professional Speakers Federation, which is called the Certified Professional Speaker Designation. It's a six month intensive mentoring based professionally based training for those who want to be professional speakers. One of the amazing features of that program is the opportunity to have a speaking mentor. Thank you so much for checking this video out. I encourage you to absorb the information, to listen to it again and again, get it in your heart, get it in your mind, and go out there and share your message with the world. Thanks so much.